Nina. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, hi, my name is Jenny and I do bookish videos here on YouTube. And, um, new slash. Today is the first video that is going to be both in English and in French. So stay tuned if you want to um, see the French version. It's going to be a little bit later on in the week though. So today's video is going to be actually my um, July TBR. I No, not TBR. July book haul. I don't think I've done any book haul in June and that since I haven't, I have 27 books to show you today. So without further ado, we're going to jump right into this video because it's going to be quite a long one and I am trying to be really, really, really quick because yeah. And here's the cat. You're probably going to see the cats everywhere because I just came home from work and when I do, they just want to be with me. So sorry for that. Yeah, let's jump into that video. Alright, so um, as I mentioned, it's going to be a video both in French and in English, so you're going to see this one first and then the French version is going to be a little bit later since, yeah, and by the way, I'm sorry I didn't post a video like two weeks ago when you're seeing this, yeah, something like that, um, well, life happens and, well, life happens and, yeah, when things get in the way yeah. and I'm saying that and I'm apologizing for something that I didn't I don't even have a schedule for my videos so yeah I'm trying to post one a week but sometimes it can be delayed um, and now I'm trying I will probably be posting two a week since I'm going to be doing the videos both in English and in French so um, yeah I don't know if I'll be able to do that so but I will try all right enough rumbling because it's already been three minutes and I have 27 books as I said and that's actually the ones that I have here I have some that I'm just going to talk to, about on the shelves well first I have the complete series of Cassandra Clare uh, Shadow Hunters is it that City of Bones City of Bones no Shadow Hunters City of Bones well, you know what I mean. I have the whole series as well as the Shadowhunters Codex. Um, but yeah, so I feel like you've heard, you've probably heard a lot about this one. But it's basically in this one, you follow Clary, who is, well, she discovered that vampires and werewolves and, you know, those kind of things actually exist. And she meets with some shadow hunters and she learned that she has some heritage of it I don't know if I make if I'm making sense but yeah you've probably heard a lot about this already there's even a series on Netflix so yeah that that's that then I have American Royal by um, Catherine McGee so this one in this one you follow I can't even remember oh my god um well it it's basically a royalty but in our days like in modern um history so i'm really excited to see what's going to happen so i guess you're going to have like all the drama that can happen now and i feel like you probably have some social media or something involved in this since it's happening like right now but yeah, it's a royalty and yeah, I don't know. I really wanted to read this one. I'm not going to put those back on the shelves because I have to do my French version of those books and yeah, that's why my bookshelves are pretty much empty because I've reorganized it. But yeah, yeah. So I have Aurora Rising by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. So this one, I don't even know what this is about I just know that I've heard a lot of things about this and I just wanted to see if it was actually good so yeah it sets in 2000 
well, 2380, so it's really far. <laughs> well, not far, but it's, you know, you understand what I mean. Um, but yeah, I don't really know what this is about, so I'm just not going to talk about it because I have so many books to talk about. Then I have Serpent and Dove by Shelby Mahurin. Sorry if I'm butchering the word, the, the name, but um, I'm sure you already have heard a lot about this book. I, I mean, like, I feel like every YouTuber has actually read read this, and yeah. But you, I don't know what this is about because I like look at that. That's all you have on the back. So bound as one to love, honor, and burn. A witch and a witch hunter thrust into holy matrimony. There was only one way such a story could end. A stake in a match. So I'm really intrigued. I I know I've heard a lot of things, but since it's been a while, I don't remember what this was about. But yeah, really, really, really looking forward to this. Then I have the first Harry Potter. I don't own the series, so I just started to get the books. So I got the first one, I will probably get the others, like, eventually, but yeah, you know, it's Harry Potter, you know what this is about. Then I've actually started to um, collect the Shadow and Bone series, so I have Shadow and Bone and Siege of Storm, which is the first and the second, and you actually know that you have a Netflix series right now going on, but um, yeah, I feel like it's been talked a lot lately um it's about an orphan i think and that's pretty much all i know but i feel like it's maybe set in um it's said before our days i don't know if that makes sense but yeah and i'm not gonna go into too much details because again it's been talked a lot a lot and I haven't actually read any of those. I'm waiting to get the third one. But yeah, as I said, I'm connecting some series before I, re I read this. I, as I said, I'm connecting some series before I read them. Because I feel like when all the books are out, I want to have all the books before reading it. Because once I get in the series and I really like it, I want to read it all in, like, all after the other, you know? Then I have Kingdom of Ash right here by Sarah J. Mess. But I also got all the series that is right here. So I have the prequel, which is The Assassin Blade. And, you know, Throne of Glass, Crown of Midnight, Hair of Fire, Queen of Shadows, Empire of Storms, and Tower of Dawn. And I have that one right here. And I've already started it. And this one is like, it's a Bible. <laughs> Almost. It's a dictionary. I don't know. It's really big. You, you get like... 980 pages but right now I'm on page 154 and this book is I really love it I can't wait to read some more and yeah I'm just not gonna talk about this one because it's the seven one but I've already talked about the these books and uh, in my recent read video which I'm gonna Leave the link in the description box below. I'm kind of, you know, out of breath. Then, I have another series that I've started to collect. And this one is in French. So it's the Chevalier de Maud series. It's from Anne Rebiard, which is a Quebec author. And uh, yeah, so I have the first... Wait, that's kind of heavy. I have the first five one here. Um, I've already read this series when I was really young and I want to reread this because it's like a classic here in Quebec. Um, but yeah, like my boyfriend actually started it too and you know. So I'm trying to collect this one but you have like 12 books if I remember well. So I have the five first. <laughs> we'll get to the other ones eventually. And I have The Selection by Kira Kest and this one um i've heard a lot and it was really tempting me so i decided to go for it i'm sorry 
Um, but yeah, so this one, it's... I'm gonna read to, read to you the synopsis. It's gonna be easier. The opportunity to be swept up in a world of glittering gowns and priceless jewels. To live in a palace and compete for the heart of gorgeous Prince Maxon. But for America singer, um, being selected is a nightmare. It means turning her back on her secret love with Aspen, who is a cat below her, and leaving her home to enter a fierce competition for a crown she doesn't want. Then America meets Prince Maxon. Gradually, she begins to realize that the life she's always dreamed of may not compare to a future she never imagined. So yeah, I really like this one, but I feel like it's gonna be hard broken. I don't know if I can say that, but you know, like a love triangle or something like that. Um, then I have Legend Born by Tracy Dion, and this one has been talked so much about in on YouTube. But if you don't know, you just follow this character, which is how, what's her name, Brie, and she enters um, a school. Or something like that and she's like part of those legend born people that carries magic that's pretty much all I know about it but I heard so many good things about it and yeah you know you know if you're if you're watching this video then you probably know what I'm talking about because it means you're watching bookish video all the time I think then I have another French series that I've started to collect and it's kind of an old one and it's pretty much like out of nostalgia that I'm collecting those because I've read them, I've watched all the whole series of them, I think I've watched all the, the whole series and I loved it and you know it's kind of, I'm gonna tell you, it's Vampire Diaries. So in French, it's Journal de Vampire by L.G. Smith. And yeah, you know, everyone knows this. I feel like every single person knows what is Vampire Diaries. Um, so, you know, you have Stefan who comes in Phil's church. Yeah. And Elena is like looking, he, she's the, the popular girl in her school and she tries to seduce him and you know it goes on and on and then you have Damon and yeah so I have the first the second the third the fourth and the fifth so I have all of those I got them in a thrift shop in a thrift store and look at how perfect they are like look at that they're in perfect condition so I was like okay yeah I'm gonna get those and actually it was missing the third one and it was the four other for ten dollars so like yeah <laughs> of course I wasn't gonna buy those ones then we're almost done guys we're almost done let's get to it through it I have a court of thorns and roses by Sarah Jameis and I, this one is like, you know, I picked it up because I wanted to see if the hype was real. And I feel like it's going to be because that's why I picked up also um, the Throne of Glass series. And I loved it. And I'm still not done, but I love it. And yeah, so it's the same author. I feel like I'm just going to, to love it because it's again a face story. And yeah, I'm not going to talk about it because you've probably heard a lot about it. But, you know. Then I have We Were Liars by Emily Ocker, uh, Locker, and I picked this one up actually because I've seen it everywhere and I also wanted to see if the hype was real. So it says in the back, if anyone asks you, if anyone asks you how, uh, how it ends, just lie. We are Sinclairs. We live at least in the summertime on a private island of the coast of Massachusetts. Perhaps that is all you need to know, except that some of us are liars. Like, it's really intriguing, right? So, yeah. 
Then I have Tweet Cute and I picked this one up because it was on Book Outlet and I've seen Haley from Haley in Brooklyn talk about this one and she liked it a lot so I was like okay yeah I'm just going to to read this one too but basically you have Pepper who um, runs the Twitter account of Big League Burgers yeah it's like a small you know restaurant and then you have and uh, you have Jack who is the um, He actually runs the Twitter of um, his family daddy, so you know, they kind of argue all the time together, but yeah, so I just, you know, it's going to grow into love, I think, and yeah, so like, enemies to lover, why not? <laughs> then I have, I've talked to you about From Blood and Ash that I've ordered in my, well, that I got in my other book haul. So then I got this second and the third one. So we have A Kingdom of Flesh and Fire and The Crown of Gilded Bones by Jennifer Ellerman Trout. I've actually talked about the, these ones in my recent reads. So if you want to know what those are, those are about, just go into this, the videos. Um, it's again linked in the video in the description box below. And I actually loved those books, like literally loved. I couldn't put them down. Then I have a Scarlet Letter, and it's the Paper Mills Classic, um, actually, that I have. I've ordered this one in on Book Outlet. Yeah, so it's the first one. I'm just, I'm trying to collect all the, the Paper Mills Classic, but it's the first one that I got. And yeah, it's the Scarlet Letter. It's a romance. That's pretty much all I know about it, because it's a classic. And I feel like I need to read some classics. And the last one of this book haul, of this haul, <laughs> finally, it's The Queen of Nothing by Holy Black. And I know it's not the first one, I know, but it was on Book Outlet and it was really cheap. So, and it's a series that I want to read. So yeah, and I didn't read the synopsis because I don't want to be spoiled, but I got this one. All right, so that was it for all of these books. That's a lot. It's been a while since I've Begin since I started talking and yeah I'm sorry about my accent that is just going in the way today and it's really bad and I'm sorry if I'm butchering any words as usual and you know you know <laughs> so I hope you like this video I hope you have a great day and I will see you guys in the next one bye